All right, so in this tutorial, what we're going to do is learn how to build this uh, interaction. So if we look at the interaction, um, the way it's set up is this is all done in PowerPoint, and then I published it in Studio 13. Um, so what I have is a single image here, and I want to make it clickable. So like, for example, uh, it's telling me click on the large panel to get started. I click on it. Then you can see the image turn black and white, and then I've got a colored version of that. That's a little bit offset. And you can click on the different panels, and you can see they turn color. And I can get my uh, content specific to that slide. So let's go ahead and see how that's built, and then we'll start to build that in PowerPoint. So the first thing we notice is it's all in PowerPoint. Now the key is uh, determining what content's persistent because I want to put the persistent content on the slide master. So I'm just going to start from scratch and we'll we'll just start to build this out or at least the framework for it. So I'm going to copy the image um, just so I have that. So I have a blank PowerPoint slide here and uh, we're going to paste the image on here just so we have it on our slide. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to build out my persistent content. So I know I'm going to have a main slide and I also know uh, that I'm going to have a slide for each panel. So I have one, two, three, four, five panels. So my main slide plus the five panels means I need uh, six uh, slides to work with. And the reason I want to build out the six slides, I don't need any content on them, but I do need six slides so that I can use those for hyperlinking when I go to my slide master. So um, I'm going to go to outline view. Now in PowerPoint 2013 they moved outline view over here. So let's just go ahead and select outline view, which I guess I was already in. So let's select outline view. So uh, my first slide's called main. Now I'm going to start doing my panels. So the next one will be my intro panel. And then I'll do uh, panel one, panel two, oops. And the reason I like to use the slide titles is because when I do my hyperlinking, it's going to be easy to find my panel. So I have my intro panel and my four other panels, and that's how many I have for my slide. So intro and then the four panels. So um, I, title, I use the slide titles. Now you can see the slide titles are on the slide. That's okay. Uh, we're going to fix that. So now let's go to Slide Master. So just go to View, uh, Slide Master. Actually, let me copy that image because we'll need that. So let's go to Slide Master. And I like to use this slide layout here, which is the blank slide with just the title only. So I'm going to get rid of the footers. And I'm going to take this and just move this off screen. And the reason is I like to use the title for my slide description so I can find them for linking, but they don't interfere with my screen. Now I'm going to paste the image on here, and I'm going to line the image up, and this is good enough for the demo. Now one thing I want to do is um, the image has black borders throughout, so I'm just going to create a black background. So I'm going to right-click, Format Background. Uh, choose your solid fill. So I'm just choose black. Now I've got a black background. Now this will be my content area. And this really is the key point when you're working with the slide master. It's like trying to figure out what content's persistent and what can I put on the slide master to make my editing a lot easier. So I only have to do things once on the slide master versus over a series of slides. So what I know is my image is going to be uh, persistent, my hyperlinks are going to be persistent, and my content box. So for the content box, we're just going to insert a shape. So let's grab a shape here, and I'll just call this good. We're going to make this uh, white, and we'll get rid of the outline. So, and then you could line that up and make it look a little better aligned. So we've got that here. If you want to put a slide title in here or a course title, you can do that. At uh, this point, we're just concerned about the uh, infrastructure or the structure for that. Now, the other thing we're going to do here is um, let's take this and uh, colorize it. So we're going to turn this here um, into black and white. So select it, go to Format. I'm just going to choose the uh, grayscale option. So now this is colorized. And um, now if I go to my... 
outside of my slide master. So close the slide master, go to uh, my main slide. You can see if I come up to layouts that I can I have my layout here. I want to apply that layout to all of these slides. So I can select all the slides and I'm going to go to my layout, select that layout and now I can apply it. And then you can see all the slides look exactly the same except for this first one which has uh, the image on it. So that's okay. I'm going to delete this now because we don't need it. So they all look the same. What I want to do is have some hyperlinks. So we'll build the navigation in the next tutorial. So what we have here though is we've created a master slide so which we have here. We have a master slide and that's got all this persistent content and then what we'll do is we'll create the navigation between all these slides and then we can change the content uh, unique to those slides.